Doom Eternal, the latest bone-shattering instalment in the hardcore first-person shooter series, is out in November, sprinting towards your console or PC like a guitarist about to lunge into a righteous knee slide, or like the Doom Slayer dashing towards a hell demon to do this to its jawbone. Ow! We've played Doom Eternal at E3 2019 and got a look at fresh gameplay, and several ice baths later, we're composed enough to bring you this, a list of some extremely frickin' metal things you'll do in Doom Eternal. Throw up those devil horns, or just throw up when you see what happens to this horned devil. The Doom Slayer gets the chance to dispatch plenty of long-standing enemies in Doom Eternal, from revenants to bulbous cacodemons who just can't seem to handle being pumped full of microwave radiation. But in this new game, the Slayer of Legend gets to pulverize his oldest foe of all, the Law of Gravity, damn it! That's because Eternal features way, way more flying through the air than we've ever seen in a Doom game. You can now swing on these bars littered around your environment to close distances, which happens automatically when you're close enough. Another new trick is scaling climbable walls, which is achieved by clicking in the right stick at the moment you smash full speed into one. Yikes, Doom Slayer, you must have iron knuckles. Expect to use this new power to zip across hellscapes at demon-defeating speeds. To be honest, in our brief hands-on, we were surprised at quite how much jumping around Doom Eternal serves up. We'd be lying if we said we didn't sail right past tiny islands like this one the first few times, while we wrapped our head around the trajectories involved in landing a heavily armoured marine on a chunk of rock orbiting the ancient core of Mars. These platforming escapades did break up the shooting and brawling sections nicely, although whether you ever want to not be bursting demons' heads like meaty water balloons is of course up for debate. You might think someone as wholeheartedly metal as the Doom Slayer would desire for only two things, a space weapon that looks like it weighs as much as a car, and to hear the dying shriek of an enemy having its hips chainsawed off. However, like Van Halen's tour rider, the Doom Slayer's list of demands has grown with time, and now success in Doom Eternal will depend on keeping a list of consumables evenly balanced as you smash your way through the battlefield. For instance, always desirable health is acquired by performing glory kills, but if you need extra armor in a hurry, the best way to get it is to deploy your shoulder-mounted flamethrower, which burns green armor pickups out of your foes. But there's more. Expect to be short on ammunition for much of the time. While ammo can be found lying around, to keep well stocked, you'll need to kill enemies using your chainsaw, which, for reasons known only to the makers of Doom, rips a whole load of fresh ammunition out of their bodies. Maybe demons have like a special gland or bladder hidden inside them that produces shotgun shells? You know what, probably best not to try and make it make sense. Your chainsaw, however, requires fuel to use, so you'll need to keep that stocked up as well, and you get the idea. Playing Doom Eternal is about balancing all the things you'll need, both to stay alive and deprive your enemies of that same privilege. We won't lie, the rock, paper, scissors nexus of what moves get you what pickups is a lot to hold in your head, especially in the middle of a firefight. Hopefully, once they're baked into your memory though, mastery of the battlefield will taste doubly sweet, unless you're a demon. What could be more intensely metal than firing a grappling hook into your enemies to pull them closer to you? Here's what, a grappling hook that pulls you closer to them! Ah, get some! That fearless thrill is exactly what's delivered by the new add-on for the super shotgun in Doom Eternal. Known as the meat hook, because I guess the word grappling wasn't considered visceral enough, it lets you drag yourself into enemies by tapping the left trigger when you're in range. The meat hook was first shown off several months ago, but having finally had the opportunity to play around with it for ourselves, it feels like a really neat addition to the game, albeit one that is limited in several ways. Firstly, it only connects with enemies, so you can't use it to grapple up to walls or zip endlessly around the field of battle. Also, you've only got the option to use it while toting the super shotgun, one of several weapons in Doomguy's arsenal. That said, there's something extra tasty about the fact that whenever you're being winched headlong into a bloodthirsty denizen of hell, you'll always be flying shotgun first. The 
Doom Slayer is one of gaming's most famous silent protagonists, having always preferred to let actions speak louder than words ever could. Actions like, for instance, loading himself into a cannon and firing himself across the gulf of space and through a wall. Yeah, I'd say you sent a message there, Doom Guy. As such, don't expect a whole lot in the way of cutscenes from Doom Eternal, but that doesn't mean there aren't some delicious moments to enjoy when the game does briefly take control away from you. One such that we've encountered is this scene in which the Doom Slayer moves purposefully through a Union Aerospace Corporation control room, freaking out the panicky lab dude to work there, all of whom are clearly, and probably rightly, terrified to even be in your presence. Oh, oh my god, it's him! You're damn right it's him! Gotta love this guy seeking safety behind an office chair, though. He must not have seen the thing with the space cannon and the wall. This brief bit of near-silent character building ends with the Doomslayer commandeering this poor sap's keycard. Access granted. Which is a little rude, but bearing in mind the Union Aerospace lot are usually responsible for opening some horrifying rift into hell, maybe the Doomslayer is a little ticked off to be picking up the pieces again, and definitely lacking the patience to explain to this surly chump exactly why this massive firearm is better off in his hands. Or who knows, maybe he's just originally from somewhere where they don't speak English. Hey, there's a theory in this. The last Doom game released in 2016 was a challenging ordeal, as you'd expect from a game that asked you to single-handedly rip and tear your way through waves and waves and waves of hell monsters. Based on our time with the game, don't expect an easy time of it in Doom Eternal either. You won't get a sense of it from the gameplay you're seeing now, because this footage comes direct from the makers of the game, who, as you might expect, are pretty bloody good at Doom. But Eternal is tough. We died plenty while playing, and while we were jumped a fair way into the game for our hands-on session without too much warm-up, we still reckon the game will provide plenty of challenge even when you've played through from the start. Dying never felt unfair though, and usually came as a result of forgetting, in the heat of things, how to get more ammo or which kinds of attacks would replenish our shields, or panicking and trying to leg it away from the encroaching demon hordes, which rarely worked. This feels like a game you're meant to play aggressively, which you probably could have guessed from the uh, subtle aesthetic clues. Doom aficionados will know the series tends to set its demonic slugfests on the surface of Mars or within Hell itself, anywhere red or rusty, really. What we've seen of Doom Eternal promises much more of the same, which is no bad thing, but we've had a few tantalising hints and glimpses at entirely new kinds of environments, mostly from developer id Software, who took the stage at E3 2019 to promise you'd get to visit, well, we'll let them say it. To locations never seen before in Doom, from Heaven and Hell, to the Sentinel homeworld and beyond. The Sentinel homeworld sounds really interesting, as it suggests we might get a bit more backstory for the Night Sentinels, who in 2016's Doom were mentioned as an extinct order of holy warriors. But while that sounds neat, we ask you what could be more thoroughly head-bangingly metal than the prospect of taking your savage firepower to a brawl in a Doom version of Heaven. Here's hoping we get to see much more of the game's new environment soon. Butchering Hellspawn is, to use the technical term, Metal AF, but it's only fair that the demons also get the opportunity to thrash hardcore, specifically to thrash their clawed limbs in the face of the Doomslayer who gives them so much trouble. For this, look no further than a new multiplayer scenario called Battle Mode. In this mode, two players control demons, taking on a third player who controls a Doomslayer. Now, if you've been watching the same footage as we have, you might think sending a mere two demons up against the Doomslayer is massively unfair, but to even the odds, id Software says that the demon team will be able to spawn in AI-controlled monsters. From this brief look, and from the way battle mode is described, it seems very much like the Slayer's job will be to eviscerate everything that moves, while the two demon players will have to think tactically about how and when to summon their hellish allies in order to have a good chance of winning. Demon summon. Bad idea. I saw Hereditary. I know how these things turn out. Oh, those are some extremely metal things you'll be getting up to in Doom Eternal. Are you excited for the game? Let us know what you reckon in the comments, and please consider subscribing to Outside Extra if you haven't already for much more from E3 2019 and beyond. Thanks for watching.